What's up, Red Nation? You already know, man. Watch Raider here, man. For a special video. Took me a couple days, man. I had to do it. I had to just take a couple days to kind of get my mind right. And, you know, kind of what I wanted to say and kind of speak my piece on Kobe, man. What he meant to me as a youngster from the city, a Laker fan, too, and and a basketball player. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I hope. I mean, man. Kobe came in the league, though, pretty much after I stopped playing. You know, I, I just kind of got focused on, more focused on school and shit. And I stopped playing, really. Um, I might have still been playing for the Park League. I don't know. I don't I don't think I was. I might. That It might have been maybe a year, a couple years before that, that I stopped playing. But, I mean, for me, the Lakers was my release, you know, as far as basketball. You know, even though I wasn't playing, I, I just basically lived basketball through the Lakers. Pretty much. And uh, I remember, man, I had bought a Slam magazine. And uh, I used to cut the pictures out of the source and uh, all, the, all the hot magazines. And I filled my whole wall up, you know, with just pictures from magazines. And uh, I saw this picture of uh, Kobe, young Kobe. Didn't know who he was. He was from Pennsylvania. I ain't know nothing about Pennsylvania basketball. You know, I mean, back then it wasn't no Instagram and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, the only top players you pretty much knew of was the ones that played, you know, like ball in your state or your city. So I remember just they had a picture of him with his, with his, with his high school jersey on, and he had the little curl, and he was like, you know, holding the ball, and I put that picture up on the wall. You know, uh, and saw him play highlights in high school. Never, never, never really thinking that he would come to the Lakers. But let's go back before that. You know, we had our squad with Eddie Jones. You know what I'm saying? Van Exel and everybody. And that was a transitional uh, team, you know, at the at the Magic retired. You know what I'm saying? Everybody thought he was going to die. I'm just saying. You know, I mean, it's a sad day for the Lakers fans, bro. A sad day for the city, bro. Like, we didn't, like, I was just there last Christmas, man. A, a whole, it's, it's only been a whole year. In, in one year, pretty much. Yep, got killed. Come to find out the Dodgers got cheated in, in what was it, two World Series? And now Jelly Bean and his daughter and her friends, her teammates, and, and they families. They family too. I'm just saying, like, and Kobe always used to be on the helicopter, man. Always. That's how he got around. I mean, you know, L.A. traffic is a mother. <laughs> but I, I'm just saying, you know, like, I don't question God, bro. But Damn, bro. I just had to make this video, man. It's just my therapy. I've been trying to explain to people, you know what I'm saying, what it's like, like what it what it kind of feel like, you know what I'm saying? But it's hard because I know Kobe was a worldwide, you know, he was worldwide known. Everybody knew who he was, but I remember that kid that got picked up by the Lakers, bro. We took we traded Vlade away. Vlade was my dude. I didn't really like it. We traded Vlade. To get Kobe Bryant, but I knew Jerry West seen something in him. He seen something. So, Laker fans, we was willing to give him a shot. 
And every time he would get in the game early after he got drafted, he would show something. You know what I'm saying? He showed something was there. And uh, we traded Eddie Jones. And after that, Kobe never looked back. He never looked back after that. And just to watch him grow up, just like I grew up. I'm 39 years old. Kobe Bryant was 41 years old, bro. That's how close we was in age. So it's kind of like a, a big brother, kind of. You know what I mean? And I and and I kind of lived my basketball dreams through Kobe and the Lakers. Like that was my release for basketball after I stopped playing basketball. You know, I seen Magic, you know, two championships, but it was different with Kobe, man, because we seen him, he came in, like I say, as a nobody, as a just a kid like me playing ball. I mean, you know, just, just out of high school. I mean, KG had made it, but, I mean, he was the only one. But, Jerry, like I say, Jerry West seen something in him, bro, and took a chance on him. And we had Shaq. And the rest is history. I mean, you see in the back, the 09 Finals. That's the 09 Finals shirt. Got my Kobe jersey, man. That jersey got dust on it, man. Got dust on it. That's how long I had it. And then you see my personal jersey. You know what I'm saying? I had to get that made just for my squad. Watch Laker. I still got the channel. I still got the IG, but I be so busy, man. I, I can't really follow the Lakers like I do the Raiders, so I kind of just chose the Raiders. But I'm going to try to get into some Lakers stuff, man. I just be busy. You know what I'm saying? But... <sighs> Jelly Bean, bro. And that's what I called him. I called him Kobe after he retired, but when he played, he was either KB or Jelly Bean. And I called him Jelly Bean because his middle name is Bean. His dad's nickname was Jelly Bean. And when Kobe got in the game, he gave you nothing but that jelly. All of it. So that's why I start calling him Jelly Bean. I just, <laughs> Jelly Bean. Jelly, Jelly. That's Jelly. I mean, that's what I called him. <laughs> I never called him the Black Mamba, none of that. He was always Jelly Bean. He was always that kid that used to be on the bench, and we used to be like, put him in the game, bro. He got something. Why he on the bench? <laughs> I remember the game when he missed the threes in Utah. I mean, I wasn't really mad at him. That showed me he had confidence in himself to take them shots. And by me playing ball, knowing what it feel like, I could relate. And I related a lot to Kobe's mentality. I just related a lot to him uh, as a player. And, I mean, he worked hard, man. You know what I'm saying? He played hurt a lot. He played a whole season with a broken finger, dog, and still was balling. I'm just saying, like, it just it don't seem real. I mean, I know it's real. I know it's real because I, I, I watched it on Facebook before it even came on the news. I'm seeing the helicopter on fire. I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm thinking about his parents, bro. I'm thinking about his pops and moms. I remember them. They used to be with him. You know what I'm saying? When he was young. Like I say, I grew up with this man, bro. And, and, and the thing that really made me the most happy for him was not the rings and none of that shit. It was after he left and he and he became, you know what I'm saying, a family man. He had more time to spend with his family. Cause he won playing them 82 game season and shit. And to see him with his kids, man, and to see his daughter have the spark for basketball, like he did, he recognized it and he started teaching her. 
You know what I'm saying? He started showing her, giving her the game, and she started picking it up. You know what I mean? I mean, she had the body like him, tall, looked just like him. You know? And I looked at her, and I said, man, she going to mess around, be cold like my girl Candace Parker. I'm just saying, you know, with her fine self. But anyway... <laughs> She going to be good as her. You know what I'm saying? I was just thinking in my head, like, watch. Wow, she going to make it to the WNBA, bro. She going to dominate. I was just saying. That's just, I just, that's what I seen. Because I was like, shit, Kobe, she, he teaching her? Oh, yeah, she, she going to be balling out. Because, you know, you see LeBron kids. You know, everybody kids playing ball. But I was like, his daughter? Ain't she a girl? Oh, she better be. Oh, she better be. Them, she, them girls ain't gonna have no chance. <laughs> have no chance, man. But anyway, man, I'm just trying to be be positive, you know. And that that's the one thing that I made made me happy. And then another, I had this thought, man, when when the Lakers, when we was we was going through our turmoil turmoil before LeBron came to the Lakers. I remember saying this shit to myself. I was like, man. I know Kobe doing his thing, but I think he need to start coming back to the games, man. He need to come back to the Laker games, and and just his presence, I think, will help the Laker team. Like I just thought him being in the building will help us win games. I mean, that's how much of an impact, you know, I knew that he had on the city and the team, and like and like fans that he will have, you know, his presence will help us get back on the right track. Just him being around. And, w w like, when I when I finally started to see him come around, he was with her. And then and then it just clicked. And I was just like, man, he just was just, he just seemed so happy, bro. Like, at peace. I knew he was at peace. He didn't have to say it. I knew he was at peace, man. He was at the game chilling with his daughter, showing her the NBA game. Show, just showing her, just talking to her, just telling her, like, this is why I made my mark at right here. This is why I did this. This is why I did that. I, you know, I mean, well, a lot of the players that Kobe played against, a lot of them done retired, but, like, the big, big-time players. But, I mean, you know, I mean, even, you know, the retired players that she met, you know what I'm saying, like, I mean, I thought about Shaq. I thought about everybody. Artest, Lamar Odom, Fisher. I mean, bro. Uh, I mean, man, coaches, Phil. I mean, Magic. It's just, I just thought about so many people. And then, as I sat there and saw the, saw the, the crash scene and everything, I start thinking about my family, bro. I, I start thinking about my brother, my little nephew, my sister, my pops, my uncle, everybody in my family that's still living. You know what I'm saying? I just start thinking about all my loved ones, bro. And I always try to tell them when I can that I love them and I care about them. And I, no matter what, I just want y'all to know I love y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to ever... I don't want it to ever be like, I wish I had a chance to say this to this person. You know what I'm saying? I don't never want to have them type of regrets. And in my life, I really don't. Because, I mean, I went to both of my grandmother's funerals. I mean, I went to my aunt's funeral. I mean... You know, I mean, I I got to say my 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 goodbyes. Uh, not so much with my aunt. I mean, I, I didn't talk to her really in the last day. You know what I'm saying? But me and her was, you know, me and her was tight anyway. We was always tight because she she used to, you know, she used to be the one picking me up from the airport. <laughs> take break, take when I used to come visit her, taking me everywhere and stuff. So. Me and her was always tight, man, and I, you know, uh, I'm just, I'm happy, though. I'm, I'm happy for the good things and the good times and what he was trying to do and what he left here on earth and the influence that he had with uh, so many people. I mean, even, even me, like, 
like when he went like I gotta say, man, when he when he when he came to the Lakers, a lot of as he grew, a lot of him rubbed off on me personally. Just his, just just the way he attacked things, just the way he did things. I mean, he went through his he went through his bullshit, but we seen him grow from that. You know what I'm saying? And it was just it was just great to see a person come full circle. You know what I'm saying? Come from a young kid having success. You know what I'm saying? Getting into shit, growing up, raising the family, not getting in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just trying to do the right things. Help then, you know, uh, having more time to give back. Uh, you know, help helping the young players. You know, like it, it just crosses over so much. You know, crosses over so much, man, and. Uh, I just got so many thoughts in my head, you know what I'm mean? saying? Like, I just, I can't really, I can't really structure it how I want it. I'm kind of all over the place, but I'm just, I'm just thinking about Jelly Bean, bro. That was my boy, man. I, I mean, the closest I ever got to him was, uh, it was, it was the, uh, it was the three P championship. And uh, it was all at the parade. Man. He had on the. The mini, mini up like a jersey. And everybody was out there, man. Everybody was out there. It was just, it was just a moment. But, man. It was just a moment, man. That I... I just never forget, man. I was just I was in the front, man, in the in the, in the parade line, bro. I was in the front, man. And all I remember, I seen him coming down the street, man, and I was just looking, man. And I was just looking up, and all I can remember, man, like I was down there about to get ran over, man. <laughs> and I was looking up, man, and Kobe was right there. He was right there holding the trophy, man. Three P champions. <sighs> that, that, that. It's a lot of moments, but that moment, that moment. Never forget that. Uh, man. I I think this was at the, I I don't know remember the exact year, man. Uh, we we this is after we lost to the Pistons. Shaq was gone, and they was talking about Kobe was going to go to the Bulls, the Clippers, and all this bullshit. And, you know, he was mad, and I was just like, man, no. You know what I'm saying? Don't leave, bro. Don't leave. And 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 come to find out, Jerry West talked him out of it. I didn't know this until he said this uh, yesterday. He talked him out of it. And, 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 and Kobe stayed, and he didn't leave. He stayed down with the Lakers. Had a little bit more rockiness. You know, I think after that we had played the Suns. I think that was after that. Hit the shot. First Phoenix. Playoffs. Then we played Boston. They beat us. I knew we was going to get another shot at them because they was too good. And I was just like, well, we lost. I'm like, man, we, I'm like, man, I want to play Boston again, bro. And we played them again. And we beat them. That was my favorite. That was my favorite one, though. The first one, the first one, and when we beat Boston, when we got the revenge on Boston. 
I mean, I think I think that was my favorite one though. I mean, I say the first one because it was the first one. But bro, when we beat the Celtics, man, that's just it, it was just the icing on the cake, man. And then you know, after that, Kobe stayed. He was getting older. You know, we beat Orlando. Did got to the got to the torn the torn leg and all that. Came back from that. Came back from that. All the way to the last game, we played Utah. He he put up sixty points on the Jazz. Wow. I mean, man, I can go over a lot of other shit. You know what I'm saying? But I just had to speak my piece on, on Kobe, man. Jelly Bean. I had to speak on it, man. And I didn't really think I was going to get emotional. But when I think about him, I just think about all the memories, man. Like, that was... That was like that was our Jordan. That was you know what I'm saying for the Lakers. That was that was that was Jordan. You know what I'm saying? That was the closest we that was the closest we got on the squad to having Jordan was that man right there. Nope, nope. Hey, I love Magic. Magic always gonna be number one for me. But Kobe right there, bro. He tied. He he right there. I'm gonna say one and one point one. You know, I mean, it's, you know, it's him, Kobe, Shaq, James Worthy, and Eddie Jones. Top five favorite Lakers. I mean, hey, but I just, I, I mean, I guess I just had to let that, let that go, man. I guess I just had to let that out because I've been kind of just, I mean, shit been hitting me a little bit here and there. But i seen a lot of death. I'm just saying, I just think back to being young, the homies, a couple of the homies got killed. Niggas I was just with. I'm just saying, like, I know, you know, I don't question God and, you know, things happen. But like this, I'm like, it, it ain't even going to be no open casket. It ain't even going to be an no open casket, bro. You know, I don't think, I don't know. I mean, if it bursts in the flames, it ain't nothing left. I'm just saying, like that part, that part really, that part really got to me too. You know, his daughter was with him, and it was a total tragedy. Nothing left, really. I mean, I don't know. All I saw was a bunch of debris and fire, and that's it. I'm just saying, but. Gotta move on. Life keep going. You know, just do as he wanted us. We want us to do. As, as, you know, city of L.A. The world, Lakers, Lakers fan. You know, uh, gotta just keep going, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and hopefully something, and hopefully uh, something that he did in his life and the way he lived it rubbed off on you in a good way. And that's and that's all I can really say, man. Cause I mean, he was an influence on me a lot. You know what I'm saying? Heart, determination, always, always gonna fight. Always, you know what I'm saying? Fight back from adversity. Come, try to come back. Give it, give it your all. Put it all out there. You know, be competitive. Try your hardest, try your best. Whatever you love to do, do it to the fullest. I mean, I, I mean, I kind of look at me, you know, the way I, you know, started doing, you know, Raiders content, just kind of bringing my, my view to the Raiders, to, to, to the world, really. You know, hard work. And I, I've been dedicated to shit. Like, ain't no off season for me, really. I'm I'm always doing something. Right now I've been doing the you know some of the college players. I hope hope we pick at least one of them cats. I'm I'm gonna do some more positions. You know, uh, 
I mean, of course, you could put more players, but I'm just, I'm just, you know, what I'm, saying? I'm just going with the players that I think are gonna fit with the Raiders, bro. That could fit. You know what I'm saying? So it's no off season for me. So I take a like Kobe work at the. It rubbed off on me, like in life in general. It rubbed off on me, bro. You know, and the mentality of it. I mean, it rubbed off on me. Because he was my favorite player on my favorite team, my childhood team. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, for me, it's just deep. It's a, it's a really, it's a real deep, deeper loss than just on the surface, man. Because then I think about, I just think about, it's just like, it's like we grew up together. You know what I'm saying? Even though he was, you know, in the public eye, he had cameras on him and shit. But I'm just saying, we was around the same age, and I just, I just... I just feel like 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 my like if I had an older brother or something. That's what it just feel like. And to see other people as devastated as I as I felt, it's you know what I mean. It's 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 it's, uh, it's genuine. You know what I'm saying? To see Jerry West just 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 have no words, Shaq to have no words. And Doc Rivers to have no words got to me, man. Them them three things got to me. Then when I saw Trey Young wear the eight jersey, man, that's when it hit me too. When he put on that, and they showed him and he put on the eight jersey, and I was like, man, I say, bro, that's a lose, man. We lost, we lost one today, bro. We lost one. So. Let me get up off here, man. I could go all night, and uh, I just want to make this, man, and just get my piece on, you know, on Jelly, man. Always gonna be down with the Lakers, you know. What I'm saying? As you can see, brought out a little, little bit of my gear, you know. What I'm saying, I just have to just post it, just show, show the folks, you know. What I'm saying, what time it is, you know. What time it is, man. You know what I mean? But also. These these three players that I got on my wall, bro. The three basketball players. I don't got a magic jersey, bro. I got this on my wall. I got this on my wall. Feel me? Feel me? You feel me? You feel me? Those are my three favorite players, man. And magic. But those 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 are my top three favorite players, man. Irish and Jordan and Jelly Big. So I almost say, man, it's just rest in peace, bro. Go Lakers. We got to win a chip for, for Jelly now. Yep. We got to win a chip for the Dodgers. We got to win a chip this year, man. Raiders got to win a chip soon for Al Davis. My my team's got start. My team's got to win some fucking chips. We got to win chips so we can heal. Shout out to everybody in my city, man. Y'all know who y'all is, bro. It's been tough. It's been a tough year for us, man. Tough. Let me get up off here, man. I will be back with another video, man. Uh, I'm gonna draw some more players, man. I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, 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 the draft prospect videos, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of work. That shit hard work. That shit look easy, but it ain't. You know what I'm saying? But I, I got it all up here. You know what I'm saying? I know what I want before I do it. So shout out to Kobe for his mentality, man. Rubbed off on me, man. Just through his career and just seeing him just through adversity. And just seeing him keep keep pushing and be great while he putting in the work. You know, I just hope that rubbed off on, on people. I just hope people saw that part of him and the growth of him into a into a to a to a dad who really was trying to be with his kids and be and be be a good man. You know what I mean? Uh that that that's what's going what's gonna leave with me the most. You know, more than just being a, a a basketball player. Uh just just him just seeing him be at peace. And showing his daughter the game and teaching her. 
No. That's what I was liking when he was started coming around. Like that's that's really what I was liking, man. And then him and Shaq squashed the beef and shit. And to see Shaq torn up like that, man, I I've been in his position before. That's why I say your loved ones, man. Just let them know. Let them know you love them, dog. Cause you never know, man. You never know. You never know. So let me get up off here, man. Much love, much respect. Let me know what you think in the comment section, man. And you already know, man. Raider Nation for life. Laker Nation for life. And I'm out.